Hello Year 3 and Year 4 and welcome back to our next narrative session. Today's date is Tuesday the 23rd of June and we're going to start to plan our own version of the adventure story based on the Iron Man. Okay, so yesterday you designed your characters, so well done. We're going to be using them today. Now, just going to remind you of our story mountain because today we're going to start planning our own version of this story. We have so far thought about changing our characters slightly. So instead of the Iron Man, I've actually got the Silver Giant. And instead of Hogarth, I've got Millie here. Now we're going to follow the same structure of the story and change some parts to make it our own. And remember, you can change as much or as little as you like. If you want more of a challenge, you can change a lot of the story. If you're a bit less sure, you can follow my template and my example to help you. Okay, so let's get started. Up on Class Dojo today, I have put this planning template. So you can go and download it from there, pause the video if you want to and write straight onto this. You can print it out or you can draw this on your page. So make sure you've got today's date written at the top of the page and make sure you've got our can I question for today. Can I plan my own adventure story? And we're going to use this planning grid to help us. I've got three headings. I've got story stage, what happened and the techniques I will use at each stage of the story. So make sure you've got three columns and we're going to have the five stages of our story as well. So perhaps just draw your, your, your columns and don't divide them up yet so that you've got enough room to write in each one. Okay, so let's have a look then at the opening of our story. Now we want the opening of our story to bounce straight into the action and introduce our mysterious character. And in my example, that's the silver giant. Yours might be called something different. So in this middle part, I'm going to write what I'm going to include in this story stage. I'm going to write it in the past tense so that when I come to write my story, I'm not tempted to do it in the present tense because we want our story in the past tense. So I'm going to have at the beginning, the silver stuck giant stood at the edge of, and instead of a cliff, like in our original story, I'm gonna change it so he's stood at the edge of the seashore. So he stood on the beach, the edge of the shore with the waves crashing over his large feet. I'm going to make sure I describe the silver giant. I could use some of the information from yesterday and pop it in here if I wanted to. Um, I'm going to have in this section, he stepped into the crashing waves. I'm going to describe that. And at the end of this opening, he thought he was alone, but there was someone watching him who saw everything. Okay, so that's what I'm going to have in the opening. You can write yours now if you want to, pause the video. Remember, you can use some of my ideas, but you might want to change something. So you could have your character still stood at the edge of the, of the cliff. You could have the character stood at the edge of the, the shore. You could have your character stood at the edge of a building. Maybe your story could be set in the middle of a city. It's up to you, use your imagination, okay? In the opening, though, we are still going to describe our character and mine's going to step into the crashing waves. Yours might want to step off the edge of a building. And at the end of that, we introduce the fact that someone was watching him. Now, in the techniques I'm going to use, I'm going to put here so I don't forget to include them. I'm going to use some repetition like we learned about. So the Iron Man stood. The Iron Man stood in the darkness. The Iron Man stood in the darkness on the edge of the cliff. So I've put an example there. So when I come to write my story, I've got something there to help me. I'm going to change this now so it fits with mine. So the silver giant stood. The silver giant stood in the darkness. The silver giant stood in the darkness the edge of the shore. You might want to put on the edge of a building. 
Now, I'm also going to have that really lovely questioning effect we had at the beginning. So where had he come from? Nobody knows. What was he made of? Nobody knows. Where, where could he be going? Nobody knows. So I'm going to include that in my opening as well because I really liked that technique. Hooked my reader in. I'm also going to include some expanded noun phrases where we add that extra information, those wonderful adjectives, precise adjectives and verbs. So he watched birds gathering in the misty dark sky. I'm also going to make sure that I use a simile like we looked at in our writing before. He was as colossal as an imposing, a luminous skyscraper. So those are just techniques that I'm going to put in my plan so that I know I'm going to use those in my story and it's going to be amazing. If you want to pause the video now, have a go at doing planning your opening like I've done, and then you can come back and look at the next stage. So the next stage I've got here is my build up. I'm going to introduce my second character, describe their inner thoughts, and Millie's going to decide what she's going to do. So instead of um, Hogarth being out there fishing, I'm going to say that Millie had been out collecting shells when she saw it. She was stunned by what she had witnessed and then she ran home, I'm sure, of who she should tell. Now, I'm going to make sure here that I include those inner thoughts like we looked at last week and use those question marks. So, thoughts swirled around in Millie's mind. Am I dreaming? What was that creature? Should I stay in case it comes back? So remember, I'm putting that technique there so that when I come to write, I know that's what I need to include. Now, you can pause the video if you want to and have a go at planning your build up. The next stage is the problem. So my creature, so the silver giant, causes destruction and the residents plan a trap. So in this part, I'm going to put um, on um, Millie's way home she saw um i'm going to say she saw um her villagers her village or the villagers or her neighbors say her neighbors oh that was one of our spelling words wasn't it her neighbors this cars had been bitten in half. Um, there was giant footprints the size of beds um, in, uh, I'm going to say, uh, torn into the concrete okay so i'm going to describe that destruction and um there was giant or there were i should say there were giant footprints the size of beds making giant holes in the concrete so i'm going to describe that giant oh wrong spelling Miss Pinder White, holes, it's in a hole in the ground, not a hole, like a whole pizza. Now, the residents plan a trap, so I'm going to say um, the residents were angry and decided to, um, I'm going to magpie from the story, uh, dig a huge pit for the silver giant to fall into they were going to use a what could they use as bait what could they use as bait in the last one we had a lorry um i'm going to say they were going they're going to use um a train carriage carriage as bait now in this section i'm going to have some speech to show what the residents we're saying to show the residents, so the people, their neighbours, 
to show. So all the neighbours come out into the street. There's going to be neighbours shouting, oh, what are we going to do? What's this? Who's, what could have caused this? To show the residents are angry. And I'm going to use some of those short, snappy sentences, okay, to show the, how dramatic it was when they realised what had happened. Okay. So I might have short, snappy sentences. Um, the cars were bitten in half. It was complete destruction. The neighbours cried out. Okay, so nice short snappy sentences there. Some examples so I know what to write. Okay, pause the video now if you want to have a go at your problem. Now, I'm not going to do the resolution and the ending for you because I've given you lots of examples. Now, in my resolution, I'm going to magpie the idea that Millie decides, no, I don't want the Iron Man to fall into that pit. Instead, I'm going to make a plan of going to the scrapyard and I'm going to tempt the silver giant there and I'm going to have some onomatop here so I'm going to have some crash 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 the Iron Man came tearing towards the sound bang clank the Iron Man got closer okay so I'm going to have that he arrives at the scrapyard and then in the end I'm going to have that Millie persuades the giant or Millie persuaded the giant to live at the scrap oh, scrap metal yard okay so that is going to be our plan now yes this has been a bit of a longer session but it's really important if we've got this plan then when we're writing for the next few days it's going to make it a lot easier for us so Make sure that's all filled in for you so that we know exactly what we're doing when we come to start writing tomorrow. Well done, everybody.